Hello everybody, my name is Anthony. welcome back to Let's Play Heart of Iron 4 as the Soviet islands of Indonesia. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So last time, Japan did finally capitulate. So we've actually, have, you know, kind of have finished... I accidentally lowered my mouse sensitivity. Uh, we did actually, you know, we finished off the Japanese. Uh, they still have, like, some troops over here in, uh, in China, but they're basically done for it. It can't really last too, too much longer. Look at the amount of, uh, convoys we lost to Japanese ships. I don't know if there's actually many Japanese Japanese ships left. Is there a way I can tell? Let's just see. Uh, Like 60, like, they probably have about like 80 ships. So, you know, they still have a decent number, but you know, it's not too, too bad. Uh, So you guys up here are all yellow because I think we do have you. Yeah, you're all, you know, protecting these Japanese islands because we do have a lot of factories we got basically out of that. Also, we have free dockyards. What to do with you? Because we have so many things that is just... I guess convoys, but we're just basically barely making anything just because we don't have enough supplies to actually make all the things we need because the Soviets won't trade with us anymore, which sucks. We need to deal with the uh, Philippines soon. They do have actually like a surprising number of troops, so I don't know exactly how we're going to get there. Also, let's see. You guys are here. Yeah, you guys are going to this front. Why are you advancing? I mean, it's fine, but I don't, I don't remember telling you to do that. And then you guys are, yeah, you're down here. We need to send more troops. Well, there's 64 divisions. Um, yeah, most of them are over there, but soon we're going to be able to add another 48. But I'm, I'm just going to say that probably one of these guys, either uh, blue or green here, is probably going to invade the Philippines. I don't know if we just go straight to the capital, just go straight for the uh, main island, or if we go like down to uh, Davao down here, like go south up. Or just go straight from the north down. Not a hundred percent too too sure. What are you? You are Yeah, you're a yellow troop. Trying to get up here. I think a lot of these guys are just uh I mean they're convoys, so I think we've actually just like lost troops. Just because they've been sunk by the Japanese, but it's not too big of a deal. Unfilled imports is fine. I know we're not training anybody, but I don't think it's really that big of a deal. Yeah. But other than that, most most things are fine. It's just resources we really can't do anything about. And we gotta remember that the, uh, the Germans do have the nuke. We are about halfway to our first nuke, and I did look it up. You you do need tactical bombers, so, you know, we are actually making some. We have most of our planes right now on the, uh, we have, what, like a thousand? Let's see. No, we have five, Sweden, get out of here. But we have about, let me just take a quick look. How many, how many planes do we have? Because... All of them, I think all of our 4,300 planes are on the, uh, the eastern front, western front against the, the Germans and the Polish. I mean, there's a lot of men, there's a lot of, Je a lot of Soviet troops here as well. But we kind of just need to push our way to, uh, to Warsaw. Because we take Warsaw, that should really be the end of it. You know, they have pushed their way up a little bit into Lithuania here, but it's not too, too big of an issue. I think for now, we're just going to stop the attack. You know, not advance further than we actually need to. And we need to send troops down here as well, right, against the uh, the Turkish forces. Iran still is... They're 52% communist, but they still haven't actually flipped to our side yet. Disappointingly enough. Okay, let's just... Like, you guys go here, you go here. Yeah, you're all, you're all shooting just fine. Is there anywhere we can just kind of cut off, like, supplies for troops? I don't really think so, because, you know, they have this big area over here, which does have a decent number of ports. Okay, uh, Beijing is not actually under our control, but looks like the Soviets will probably take care of that. So, I mean, for the most part, Asia is good. Uh, how many rifles are we missing? 43,000. Yeah, that's that's quite a lot. A lot of people right now don't actually have guns to fight with. Like, what's, what's your guys' problem? Large river crossing. Still preparing. You guys are mad because of superior enemy plus 50%. That's not a big deal. I think it's just fine. And this is like a this is like a blitzing order, right? Yeah, just kind of take all that territory. I mean, it's going to be a little bit difficult to actually deal with. 
Norway has capitulated. Well, I mean, that's not surprising. I'm just surprised it took so long. I don't know. Why did they go to the UK? I have no clue. It just did. Very, very odd. So yeah, you guys just need to prepare more. A lot of, yeah, a lot of you guys have. Where are these guys? Oh, they're all the way over here still. They're going to get shipped. Like, let's see. They're going to go all the way around. Around Africa. This is the dumbest way I think I've ever seen this. No, don't do that. Go to, like, this port and then walk through Afghanistan up. That's definitely safer than going all the way around Europe and Africa. Oh, we have free military factories? I guess, what do we even do? Build more fighters? Like, they're not. our factories aren't really doing anything just because we don't have the resources to actually use them efficiently. Okay, let's just make sure. Let's delete these orders just so the AI doesn't actually think about doing them. Yeah, and for the most part, does Green actually even have an attack order? I don't think they do. Your order is just to go up there. Oh, I just kind of deleted that. Okay, front line here. Oh no, I put them in the same army. Whoops. No, I want... Yeah, you guys to be here. Once again, you guys have to be... Green? Yeah, no. Thank you. Uh, we have a commander in charge. This guy, because he's fantastic. Delete this order here. Uh, can we not delete it because we're not on the right person? Yeah, delete that. You frontline here. All of you go there. And then you're basically just going to walk to that port. Because really, what else are you going to be doing? We have 13 divisions here. We have probably the rest... 11. Yeah, they're up here. Yeah, fear enemy minus 100%. So yeah, you just kind of advance. Don't delete these armies. Are you at a... Okay, this guy's on. Just go on a regular attack. You don't really need to try to, like, blitz to the coast. It's not really that big of a deal. And do we have ships in our ports? Yeah, we have, uh, heavy cruisers, submarines. Search and destroy over here. Do we actually have an admiral? I'm not even too sure. I don't think we do. We have one admiral. Where's our actual, our actual fleet? Yeah. You just kind of do whatever it was that you were doing. I don't even remember where they were doing it, but... Just, you know, sink Japanese ships. Do whatever it needs. Just do whatever needs to be done. Uh, we're winning only 30% of battles, which is, I would say, pretty, pretty bad. Uh, don't retreat, because that doesn't... Nope, they, they are all retreating now. Which is stupid, because they if they retreat here and there's a Japanese force, I think they'll just, uh... Instantly all get stack wiped? Okay, well, at least they didn't. That's good. Let's see if we can cut these guys off from supplies. Just cutting any amount of troops off from supplies is definitely good. Okay, now I want you to advance this way. Uh, you guys, for the most part, are fine. I want all of you, if possible, is to attack into this province. I know it's kind of like a fortification, so you know, it's still pretty, pretty bad. Okay, yeah, these guys should fall pretty, pretty soon. Let's try to take these provinces here. Yeah, just slowly but surely advance. Like, where are these guys going? They just all deploy in, like, the dumbest ways, and I don't really understand it, but... Also, somehow, Japan's taking more territory up here. Soviet Union is just not very good at their jobs, I would say. Where are those extra troops? Like, the guys have no morale. Are they... I don't know, they're still... It's gonna take them a while. How long is it gonna take you to actually get there? Like, it's going to take them a month just to get to India, and then how long it's going to take them to walk to, or I guess take a train to, uh, 
to like Poland? Probably a while. It's probably gonna take until like the end of the year before we even see any troops there. Okay, so all of you guys deploy here. And we are, you know, we're pushing them back. So that's good. If you can just walk into this problem, it doesn't really cut anybody off from supplies. I cannot cut these guys off from supplies. So that's good. If we can just walk to Shanghai and take this uh, port here, that'll also be good for us. Okay, we are technically winning here. Yeah, if you can just, how long is it going to take you to walk there? It's going to take you a day. I don't know if we can really distract the Japanese for an entire day. Maybe if we attack along these two fronts, but I think they might have Shanghai completely undefended. And, you know, that would definitely be good for us. Is this an actual naval battle? No, it's just more stuff convoy. It doesn't really matter. Okay, artillery. We have artillery, guys. Attrition. We might as well just hire everybody we possibly can. Okay, we're at 82% of the way to a nuke. Do we actually have a, uh, a tactical bomber ready? I don't think so. We have more fighters. Just, you know, kind of raise this straight to the thousand. Set the limit on that, so they'll kind of reinforce straight here. How long is it going to take for a single tactical bomber? We'll make three a week. Do we have tactical bombers somewhere? Oh, we do. Oh, fantastic. We already had a, like, a, we already have like a thousand of them. Fantastic. So, are we going to nuke Poland? Uh, potentially. 20%. I just don't know how much it affects. 20 victory points, 10, 5, 1, 1. Well, the way they nuked the UK. 27%. But I don't know what it was before. It might have been 10%. I mean, we can try it. But we could also try to, like, nuke Berlin. But Germany is nowhere near capitulation. They're still at, like, 100%. Yeah, 100%, 10% to capitulation. Yeah, it's, I mean, we have to take Poland. It's kind of an it's kind of a necessity. It needs to happen. Is there anywhere else like anybody who's close to just capitulating? Like who still needs to capitulate in this war? The UK and the United States. That's going to take a while. In this war, it's Germany, Italy, and Spain. I don't I don't think Spain is really considered a great power, but you know, that's not up to, to me to decide. You know what, Yellow Army? You're just going to stop advancing for now. I think Germany has, you know, gotten a little bit too strong down here in Mozambique. So we're going to see if we can kind of deal with that a little bit. Okay, let's just stop any attacking operations. If, the, you know, the attacks are going fine, then I think it's okay, but... Yeah, so we can just kind of push into, you know, a little bit of territory. So up to here in Africa. No, that's fine. Don't worry about that. I mean, we're pushing our way. We're going to take the new Japanese capital. Did we take Shanghai? We didn't take Shanghai. It's a little bit too well defended. But you guys up here, really, you should have, like, no supplies whatsoever, right? Yeah, negative... And only negative 15, actually. So, you know what? Don't attack yet. Because clearly it's not actually going to work out so well for us. They have one Japanese troop here. How about you just go and walk over here and kill him? Yeah, that doesn't really... I don't care if we lost three convoys. Like, who cares about that? Not me. This doesn't matter. Iran, are you in the war yet? You still don't like me. Just join our side. It would be made... You know, it'd be so much easier. You know what? Like yellow or orange, I guess, is what your color you are. Uh, delete this. And then front line basically just... No, front line basically just against, like, Poland? 
and all of you go there. These guys that are still in the sea, I don't know what they're... Yeah, they're going to go to uh, Madras in uh, India. Will that do anything? Also, why is this like a yellow rectangle? Not... or that's, it's, that color is clearly red. Why is there a red right rectangle? Not too... Sh it's, it's right there. I don't know why. Weird. But anyway, we're still pushing our way through. Everybody is attacking into the city. That's a lot of troops actually there. How many troops does Japan actually have? They still have like 80... Or like 100 divisions, which is quite a lot. We're still worth a lot of North America as well. Mexico. Brazil? Like, who's somebody here that could actually... Matter. I mean, there's a lot of people like, Paraguay's already communist, but they won't actually join the the Axis. Or join the, uh, the Comintern. Let's see if we can maybe get Mexico on side. It'll take a while, but... We might as well. We're not really using the political points for too, too much. We just need Iran to flip. Get these, uh, you know, 50 divisions. Hopefully it's help attack Turkey, because I don't think there'd be anybody else they would be bordering that they're at war with. Like, even getting, like, just Iraq, just pulling in as many countries as possible would still probably be for the best. I don't think we have anybody that improves. Yeah, there's nobody that actually makes our influence stronger, sadly. Yeah, that's your plan. The, uh, the, the division's non-position doesn't really matter too much. Because a lot of them, you know, are down here in India. Then I'm assuming they're just going to walk to the, the rest of the way. So how long is it going to take you to actually get there? 35 days, actually, is a lot sooner than I was actually imagining originally. Yeah, but we're just going to try to attack. And try to push our way through as much as possible. It's probably going to be a little bit challenging to, you know, make too much, uh, oh, actually, can we, uh, no, stop, stop, stop attacking. Game? No, stop attacking. I want you to go into this province. I don't know if you can reach it, get there before the Polish do. No, you're gonna be, like, three hours late. But I think we still need to nuke Warsaw. I think that's what has to happen. I mean, we can try, you know, we might as well try it, right? Like, how long does it take? And it's like 72 days. That's not really a long time at all. We can't actually reach there. Okay, well, let's go to Will Know. Try to get your superiority over Western Poland and then, you know, blow up Warsaw. And see how that works for us. We have interwar bombers. Fantastic. But, uh... I need my I need my tactical bombers. Where did I put them? Will now? I kind of forgot where I put them. But I'm sure at some point I'll figure it out. I thought it was like at Will now. I guess not. These guys can kind of just bomb stuff. Yeah, tactical bombers. Go over Warsaw. Can we game, please? I oh, know we need strategic bombers. Do we have no? Are we researching strategic bombers? Yeah, never mind. We're not actually going to be able to get to Warsaw. Or we won't be able to nuke Warsaw this episode. Next episode, maybe? Yeah, but clearly uh, it's not going to work out so well. Hopefully we can actually push our way to Poland. So that'll actually work out. Oh my god, game, please. We took here. Now stay there. I'm putting you into a completely separate army. 
Just so that hopefully the game doesn't completely screw everything up. Like, when are you going to arrive in this province? One day, 16 hours. One day, 3 hours. So you're going to be slightly faster, and that's kind of all we need. But you basically just have to be in your own separate army. We need at least one troop to not do what the AI wants him to do. You just keep walking here. If we can just slowly walk our way to Warsaw, that's all we really need. Just make ever so slightly... Eh, okay, we've kind of been cut off a little bit. Don't retreat. Fine, whatever. But I do think it's going to be a good time to end this video. So thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember thumbs up. If not, don't forget to thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.